For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Super Microcomputer, trading under the NASDAQ ticker symbol SMCI, has been experiencing a downward trend lately. Over the past month, the stock has seen a decline of more than 20%. This drop is particularly notable because Super Microcomputer was previously viewed as a high-performing player in the artificial intelligence sector. Despite the company's impressive growth numbers and promising future, investor sentiment appears to have have shifted, leading to a wave of selling. The question many are asking now is whether this is just a temporary dip, or if there might be a catalyst on the horizon that could reignite the stock's momentum. Earlier in the year, Supermicro Computer, commonly referred to as Supermicro, made headlines by announcing a significant 10 for 1 stock split. This split is set to take effect on October 1st, with the stock trading on a post-split basis thereafter. The announcement of a stock split often generates buzz, as history shows that splits can sometimes drive stock prices higher. The concept behind a stock split is relatively straightforward. By dividing the existing shares, a stock split lowers the price per share, making the stock more affordable and theoretically more accessible to a broader pool of investors. This is particularly beneficial for those who either prefer not to purchase fractional shares or are unable to do so. The idea is that a lower price point could attract more buyers. However, it is important to note that a high price alone doesn't necessarily prevent a stock from rising further. For example, Berkshire Hathaway's Class A shares have continued to climb despite their hefty price tag. Similarly, Chipotle Mexican Grill saw its share price soar to over $3,000 before executing a massive 50 for 1 stock split earlier this year. These examples illustrate that a high stock price does not inherently limit a stock's potential for growth. Even though stock splits do not alter the underlying fundamentals of a business or change the total value of an investor's holdings, they can still have a positive impact on a stock's overall valuation. Following a split, it is not uncommon for stocks to experience a rally, driven by increased demand as more investors find the lower price point appealing. That being said, recent stock splits have not necessarily delivered the kind of boost that some investors might have hoped for. Chipotle's stock split, which took place just a few months ago, did not prevent the stock from falling by 20% afterward. Stock splits have the potential to add fuel to a stock's fire during strong market conditions, especially when the broader market is rallying. However, with concerns about a possible recession looming, the the effectiveness of Supermicro's upcoming split as a catalyst for the stock remains uncertain. Investors may be wary of the broader economic environment and might not see the split as a reason to jump back into the stock. Another factor that could be weighing on investor sentiment is Supermicro's margins. While the company's business has been expanding rapidly in recent quarters, there are concerns that its profit margins may be under pressure. In the most recent quarter, which ended on June 30th, Supermicro reported a gross profit margin of just 11%. This is a deep decrease from the already low margin of 17% that the company reported during the same period in the previous year. While doubling sales is undoubtedly an impressive achievement, thin margins can be a red flag for investors. When margins are slim, it means that a significant portion of the company's revenue growth may not be making its way down to the bottom line. This can be an indication that the company's pricing strategy may be overly aggressive, potentially offering steep discounts to drive sales. While this approach can help grow the top line, it may come at the expense of profitability, which could be a concern for investors. In the current economic environment, where spending on artificial intelligence and related technologies is being scrutinized more closely, investors may be hesitant to buy Supermicro stock at a valuation that exceeds 30 times earnings. If the company's earnings growth does not keep pace with this high valuation, it could be difficult for the stock to justify its current price levels. The demand for the company's server solutions and storage products remains robust, and Supermicro is positioning itself as a key player in the AI infrastructure space. However, in investors may need to see improvements in the company's margins before they feel comfortable with the stock's current valuation. One of the key advantages that Supermicro offers is its relatively low valuation compared to other AI stocks. Based on analyst estimates, the stock is trading at just 18 times next year's earnings, making it one of the better valued options in the AI space. Supermicro is also establishing itself as a leading provider of servers and AI-related infrastructure, which positions the company well for future growth. While it is true that spending on artificial intelligence may slow down during a recession, investors might want to take a long-term view and consider the broader market dynamics. Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors of all time, has often advised against making investment decisions based solely on economic forecasts. Instead, he encourages investors to focus on the fundamentals of the business. 
If Supermicro continues to perform well and maintains its leadership position in the market, it could still be a solid investment, even in a challenging economic environment. In the end, while Supermicro Computer's upcoming stock split may not serve as a significant catalyst for the stock, the company's strong fundamentals and growth prospects make it a potentially attractive investment. Investors who are willing to take a long-term view and focus on the company's market position and valuation may find that Supermicro offers good value in the AI sector. Supermicro Computer has recently seen a significant decline in its stock price despite strong growth and promising prospects in the artificial intelligence space. The company has announced a 10 for 1 stock split, which will take effect on October 1st. While stock splits have historically boosted stocks, recent splits have not had the same impact. Concerns over Supermicro's thin profit margins and high valuation may be causing investor hesitation. However, with strong demand for its products and a relatively low earnings multiple, Supermicro could still present a good buying opportunity for investors focused on long-term fundamentals. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.